Yo, watching Rock the Block Live daily with me, Eugene Tay, and this time round, we're gonna do something a little bit different from our usual daily. Instead of boring you with the details of the news, we're gonna give you five headline news for the day. So if you are a busy professional or individual, doing this five news is enough for you to walk through the crypto scene and drop bombs like you know everything you need to know about crypto. First news is about the world's richest, I mean the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, Binance. Well, Binance wants to donate to charity and let developers decide how much they are willing to pay. Now, quite frankly, that is a great idea. But if I also make a billion dollars in transactions a day, I too can afford to be charitable. Now, CZ from Binance said that he would like to see as many people in the crypto community follow the same and donate to charity. But unless you are like this guy, most of us who are right now in the bear market can't afford to be too charitable. But still, this is a great move forward by Binance because just recently, Expense founder and altcoin founder stated on Twitter that Binance was charging 400 BTC just to list an altcoin. So this move going with the charity angle definitely put Binance in a much better light. You might remember this grand supermarket that started off in Suntech City in Singapore called Kafu. Now Kafu has joined IBM Food Trust platform to let you trace exactly how it's produced and food items are grown, packaged, shipped and distributed. Now again, this is a brilliant use for blockchain because you know all the stories from China where there's melamine in the milk or even recently out from Australia where you find needles in strawberry. Well, that's a piece of news that vegetarians can rejoice. Why? Because if you know where that piece of meat on your plate came from, that might actually encourage more people to move away from eating meat and just becoming vegetarians. And that really opens a different can of worms altogether. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik says Ethereum can survive without him. Now that is a breakup line we have heard before. Now that we have seen Vitalik take the first step to decentralize himself away from the project that he started, would that create a ripple of effect down the rest of the crypto world and we see people like Charlie Lee jumping on the bandwagon or in this case jumping off the ship? Dubai residents will soon have their own blockchain-based state-backed digital currency called MCash. That's E-M-C-A-S-H. Speaking of Dubai, here is Tom Cruise sitting on the Burj Khalifa, looking into the distance, feeling so serene and nodding to himself that cryptocurrency has finally taken root in Dubai and possibly rippling to the rest of the world. This is a far cry from the times when he was dealing with fiat currency. Well, those were some good old days. In the final piece of news, we have a man who was sentenced to 3.5 years jail and fined for stealing electricity to mine his Bitcoin. Well, the poor fool mined 3.5 BTC in a span of six months, but now he's gonna spend 3.5 years in jail. Now that as a conversion is a very pricey cost to pay. So if you wanna be a miner and not end up in jail, you got to put on a smile and look like this guy. Not the guy on the left, I'm talking about the guy on the right. And this guy here, can focus on mining Bitcoin with free electricity. That's the end of the news for today. I hope you like this new format. Do drop me something in the comments below to let me know if this works better for you or the previous format. If you want to find out more information, more details about all these headline news, check out the website at rocktheblog.live and check out today's daily news.